What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft Server Season 3. In the last episode guys, we worked on the front of my house and you guys really seem to like it. I live streamed yesterday and there was a ton of you guys there, so thank you for coming to the live stream yesterday. I live stream every Tuesday if you guys want to come and check out a live stream. So if you're free on a Tuesday, make sure to come and check out my channel. I will put a notification up when I live stream, you can come and check it out. Because this is what I did in the live stream guys. I finished all the walls around the house. So as you can see the main frame of the house is fully complete but this is not going to be my full house guys this is very small to be my main base on an SMP we're definitely going to expand this but the main idea which I said to you guys in the last episode which you, you can probably picture a lot better now is that it's all going to be underground so this is going to be like the entrance way here probably going to do a three wide door not a two wide door there but I think it looks nice I like the design um, but this is going to be the entrance this is where I'm going to park all like my horses and stuff and then if I go in here I'm probably going to divide this into like three rooms there's probably going to be a big room here there's going to be a room on the right here and then a room on the left but the left side room is probably not even going to be a room it's just going to be a staircase that goes down underground and then that is where everything's going to be that is where all my farms are going to be that is where I'm going to keep my animals everything so the idea is to have a nice little base on the outside but once you go inside underground is like epic that's what i'm trying to go for but i need to finish off some final touches around the front of this house and to do that i need some ice for the windows but we don't have any ice i haven't found any snow biomes or anything like that so i thought to myself why don't i make an ice tray now some of you may be thinking what is an ice tray but I know you Minecraft experts out there know what an ice tray is now an ice tray is something that you build in Minecraft you put water in it and the water freezes and you make and you get ice and you use a silk touch pick to harvest that ice that's kind of like an ice farm is what it's called I think EFO did one I think Exumavoid did one and they called it an ice tray so that's what I'm going to call it as well but I'm going to build mine up here because the rules for an ice tray well not rules the how it works is you need to either build it in a snowy biome or you need to build it on top of a mountain uh, above level 94 I think it is and as you can see we're level 96 and this is where I'm going to build my ice tray I've already marked out the dimensions of it but there is going to be a slight twist to this guys this is not going to be your standard ice tray now most ice trays on youtube they're very functional they just do the job it's usually just a square like this you put water in it it freezes you harvest it you put half slabs in the middle so your water doesn't get destroyed in the middle and then it can just replenish itself but I don't want to do that guys I don't want a simple ice tray I want one that looks nice and modern so in today's video we are gonna try and make this standard box this standard ice tray look nice that is my plan for today because I could make an ice tray in like five minutes it's it's not even that hard but what we're gonna do is make this look nice and modern so I've put down the foundations here guys and the foundations of this are 15 by 15 yeah, I think no, it's 14 by 14. So this is a 14 by 14 square. So if you do want to build it, that is how big you need to do it. And you need to have a diagonal blocks going like this all the way across, and you need 12 of these. So if you do a 14 by 14 square and then put diagonal blocks in the middle, and you need 12. I've done some markings on the edge here, like two blocks going out that way, two blocks going out this way, and one there. I've done that in each corner. So if you see that right there and you see that right here I've done that in each corner that is for myself because of the plans that I want to do and how we're going to make it look nice and modern like the design that I want to do on the outside but there is one thing I need to do before we get started building with this we need depth strider depth strider is key to making an ice farm because then you can walk around in the water really fast and I do have a depth strider book that I found in the mesa biome but I left it a spawn in the ender chest so what I'm going to do I'm going to go and enchant my boots with depth strider Strider. and yeah we're gonna be back and we're gonna start building this nice looking ice tray so I have my book now I have my lapis I thought I put this on camera guys so you guys could see it for yourself and we are gonna put depth strider one on our boots it is better to get like depth strider three because it moves a lot faster I think it's three or two I can't remember but let's see how much it is two levels is that it oh wow that is super cheap but now we have depth strider and that is gonna make things a lot easier when we're harvesting our ice so what we're going to do now guys we're going to head back there and we're going to start work on our ice tray and trust me this is going to look really good 
Right guys, we are back at the ice tray now. So I have all my foundations set up like I showed you before. So let me show you what you're gonna need to build this. You're gonna need an infinite water source. If it's up on 94 level, just put some half slabs above it like that. So the ice, the, the water doesn't turn into ice. And the blocks that I'm gonna be using for it is loads of spruce wood, some snow. I'm gonna need some bone meal because I'm gonna grow some grass on it. You'll see what I'm gonna do in a bit. I got some grass blocks because I have a silk touch ax. So I got some of that so the grass will grow as well. And yeah, some slabs. And and that's all you're really gonna need so let me show you the main design of one side which I'm gonna do because once I do this it, uh, all the sides are pretty much gonna be the same so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this side right here so as you can see I've got my 14 by 14 square right there so the first thing that I'm actually going to do is fill up this area right here so you see where these two bits come out I'm gonna fill them up like this so I'm just gonna fill these up like that and this is gonna be the like kind of base to one of our walls all of our walls are going to be the same as this now these corner parts why i've got this little bit cut out here we're going to put some snow and it's just going to be a little kind of arrow like that in each corner um these these will be a lot higher than what you see right now but they're ju i'm just putting them like that for now just so i can uh, get the markings there and i totally messed up i didn't want to do that i didn't want to waste any snow but yeah here we go so this is what it's going to be like this is what the walls are going to be like so what you do is fill these all up and put snow in the corner there and fill these up on this side and put some snow in the corner there and then fill this up so i'm just going to do one wall for now just to show you what it's going to look like um so once you've done that what we want to do next is kind of build up these snow bits we want to build them up by two more blocks so they're three high i think eventually they will be four high but just do three for now then get your stairs and we're going to put a stair facing this way like that and then we're going to put an upside down stair all the way across so what i'm going to do on this side just so it fits in nicely going to put two more up like this and then i'm going to put the upside down stairs that way upside down stairs this way that's hard to say when you've got to keep saying upside down stairs and i was going to join these up together just to give it some detail on the sides right here so we've got we've got our side areas right here so what we're going to do now is we're going to jump up on top of this and we are going to put half slabs on top which i haven't got <laughs> let's go grab the half slabs we're going to put some half slabs on top of this as well uh can i jump up from this side yeah i can so we're going to put some half slabs right here like that actually that is it how it's meant to be it's three high it's not four high so we did it right so we're going to put some half slabs on there as well now this bit here looks a bit, little bit weird and i'll tell you why because what we're going to do is put dirt in here like this right we're going to put dirt in here but leave one free and uh leave one free right there so we can put a grass block right there um if you've got grass blocks then just fill it up with all grass blocks but i don't have a lot of grass blocks and i'm not going around mining all my grass blocks with a, a, a silk touch axe so hopefully that will just spread around so this is basically what one side's going to look like and we're going to just fill this part up here so you see this back part right here this is going to get filled up once again just like that oh not there so this is what all of the sides of the walls are going to look like so we're going to make it look a lot nicer um so once we have done that let's break that out because the normal ice trays that people just do a square like you see here but we're making it look nice we're putting a little bit of big touch to it so there we go we've got some nice um sides right there what i want to do actually is probably wait until the grass grows and then what i plan to do is bone mill the grass so we get some grass along here at the top i can't do that right now because i need to wait for the grass to spread so what i'm going to do guys i'm going to fill up all these sides so they're all exactly the same so we're going to copy everything that we did on this side and put it on that side and then we can get the ice tray to start working right guys i finished off all the sides so all the sides are exactly the same as what we saw a second ago but what we're going to do now is finish off the corners so we have these corner parts right here all we're going to do right here is just place uh one block down and then we're going to place a slab on top nope not like that <laughs> like that right there and we're going to do that on each corner just so we've got some nice walls to the ice tray now some of you may be thinking how are you going to get in this thing to harvest the ice i know i know i haven't really planned that out but what i'm going to do i think i'm just going to put a ladder on one of these sides here nice and simple and then it shouldn't ruin the look or anything like that and now we have a really nice looking like wall design for our ice tray now i didn't want to like i said guys i didn't want to do just a standard ice tray i wanted something that is a bit different <laughs> something that looks nice I, I love things in minecraft that look nice and i wanted this thing to look nice i didn't want it it's probably something that i'm going to use a lot because i have a lot of um 
I'm going to use a lot of ice in my base. So yeah, something that I'm probably going to use a lot. So I'm glad we, we, we're, we're making it look nice. So let's just put that there. We can jump up and this is the ice tray. So I'm still waiting for the grass to grow around here, but it's time to start working on the inside. Now, this is the most important part because this is where the functionality comes in. This is where the water is going to turn to ice. And so this is where we need to make it as easy as possible for us to harvest. Now, I know I told you guys you need these 12 blocks in the middle here. In, for a normal ice tray, you do. But I'm going to change it up a little bit because I don't want floating half slabs above my water because the normal ice tray, people have floating half slabs going diagonal so the water in the middle doesn't melt. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do, once I'm on the inside, I'm just going to knock out all these blocks right here. So the spruce wood on every side. I'm not going to knock out the corners, just on the side blocks like this. And this is where we're going to put our water. So because there's a block above it, this block here, the water shouldn't melt. So we should be fine with putting our water there and it should work nice and easily. So we've got all the ice in the middle we can harvest. And as soon as we start harvesting it again, this water will flow back in to the ice tray in the middle and then start freezing again so that is my plan hopefully it works i'm not sure if it's going to i haven't tested it out i've tested it out to see if the water fills back up but i haven't tested it out to see if it doesn't freeze or anything like that so we've knocked all that out right there it doesn't matter what this part here is all made out of oh my god i, I run out of um thingies um, what i want to do as well i want to put a ladder in here so we could just jump out so let's test out the water side of it let's see if it's going to work hopefully the water buckets get rid of um, what's it called? I, I, ice caps, snow caps. Yeah, what am I talking about? Hopefully it gets rid of these because I haven't got a shovel. It just broke. So let's try it out. So what we're going to do is fill up these like that. Does it get rid of them? I don't know. So we want to do every other block so we can create an infinite source and then keep going like this. There we go. So if we keep going like this uh, down, uh, down each edge and we do this down each side, we should create an infinite source down the middle yes it does get it nice so if we keep doing this like put that one there i think some of you guys know how to do this right you miss out every other block and then it will start creating an infinite water source like see can you see it creating an infinite water source around me nice so look it's pretty much done look it pretty much filled up itself so all we need to do is just fill up the edges here oh look i only need one water bucket and this should need one water bucket too nice so this is the ice tray. So what the idea of this is, because it's over level set level, what is wrong? <laughs> because it's over level 95, this water should start freezing. So once it starts freezing, the idea is, is that you go through, you start harvesting it with a silk touch pick. Ideally, I don't have a silk touch pick. I have a silk touch axe. So I'm going to get as much ice as I can with my axe until we get a pick. And then once you harvest it, you don't need to do anything. You just get out. And because this water down the edge is right here, it will automatically refill and then it will start freezing again. So it's just kind of like a semi-automatic ice farm. But I wanted to make it look nice. So that is what I did. So let me show you a quick example on what we're going to do with the sides areas right here you know i said i wanted to put the grass i can't show you a full example of it just yet because um the grass needs to fully grow but what i want to do is i want to put some long grass like this around the edge so you can just see it on the outside you see right there you can just see it i think it looks nice so yeah that's that's something i want to do there but i have to wait until all the grass grows all the way around this is my plan for this season guys i want to make things look nice i did that in season one with everything like everything looked nice our potion room looked nice our farms look nice we put that a little attention to detail in absolutely everything and that is what we're going to do in this season look Look, we made an ice tray but look how nice we made it we made it look really nice with the detail matching the theme of our normal builds and stuff like that so um yeah so what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna cut for a bit we're probably gonna end the episode pretty soon but we're gonna see if this freezes if it doesn't then i made a mistake but i will cut back when it freezes over hopefully <laughs> right guys as you can see it started to freeze but we did run into a little bit of a problem. You know, I said I dug out these parts underneath. It wasn't freezing. It just didn't th freeze if I dug out the parts underneath. So it looks like we're going to go, we're going to have to go with the half slab technique. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to place some half slabs over the top and this should stop the middle 
freezing now i didn't really want to do this because i don't think it looks that nice with the half slabs there i don't understand why digging out this area under underneath stopped the middle from freezing like it completely stopped it from freezing if anyone knows why that happened um please tell me in the comments because i don't know maybe there's a way we can fix it but for now what we're going to have to do is just go down the half slab technique down the middle like do this diagonal bridge down the middle like that and that should keep the water not freezing in the middle now the reason we do that guys the reason we have to do the half slabs is because we don't want the water to freeze where the half slabs is the reason that is is when we get harvest our ice the ice tray will automatically refill that's what we want it to do we want it to always automatically refill now i'm not sure why taking out these blocks here stopped it from refilling I don't know why it did that. If any of you can tell me why it did that, then please tell me because then maybe there's a way we can fix it. But as of now, we have a nice looking ice tray. We've got it down the middle. It's actually quite useful to walk down the middle right here. So yeah, it's all freezing. I know this block froze right there. Let's see if we can get some more freezing. But this is it, guys. It's all going to freeze. Yep, that one just froze right there. So this is all going to freeze. Once it's frozen, we go around with our silk touch and then we get ice and then what will happen is the middle blocks will start refilling everything so we got an automatic ice farm but there we go guys the modern ice tray i guess you can call it is looking really really nice i really like it but guys i think i'm going to end this episode here trial and error as usual but if you guys can tell me why that didn't work when we dug out the areas underneath i would be more than happy to listen to you guys because maybe we can solve it together but guys i'm going to end the episode here thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in the next episode on the chaos craft server and trap doors inside of the item frames and we're just going to make it move around until it gets to the side like that and we're going to do the same on this side so they're both symmetrical right there then we're going to get our gray banners hold shift and we're going to place our banners on top of the item frame.